In this short tutorial, we will explain how to compute mean and variance and standard deviation from grouped tabulated data in Excel. Excel doesn't have the direct functionality to use weights, but we can always work around typing in the formulas into, the, in, into Excel. So in order to compute the mean from, so what we have here are grouped data. So basically we have observation ranging from 47 to 52 and frequencies 3, 7, 4, 11, 5 and 1. Meaning that we have three observations with a value of 47 or for example 11 observations with a value of 50. Frequencies will be used as weights in the computation of the mean. So mean will be computed in a way that we first compute products of values and frequencies and sum them. So basically what we will do, if you notice here, we will multiply F, multiply F times X. So in the formula we will use frequency times the value of the variable and autofill these values. Next we need to sum this. We can use the autosum feature and we sum these values. We will also need to sum the frequencies again using the autosum feature. The mean will then be the sum of products of values and frequencies divided by the sum of frequencies, meaning the sample size. In this way, we get the estimation of the mean. Similarly, for the variance, we will use this formula. Since our data usually comes from samples, we will use the formula for the sample, which differs from the formula for the population in that we divide by n minus 1, so sample size minus 1, and not by the whole sample size. This minus 1 correction ensures that the estimation of the, of the sample of the variance is unbiased regarding to the population variance. So what we need <coughs> is the sum of squared deviations from the mean. We will make another column where we will multiply frequencies times deviation squared. Deviation will be the value of the variable, so x minus x bar, and then we will square this. So the formula will be the following. We use the frequencies times x minus the previously estimated mean. Now we need to fix this mean if you want to autofill these values. In Excel for Windows, we fix this by pressing F4. So press F4 which will add the dollar signs between uh, bef in front of both column and row index. So this computes the deviation and now we need to square the deviation like this. We drag this down and we need to auto sum this as well. <clears throat> the variance will then be sum of squared differences divided by the sample size minus 1. And the standard deviation, you know, SD, is the square root SQRT in Excel of the variance. In this way, we obtain the basic descriptive statistics 
from tabulated data in Excel.